Listen to Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Level A1, Oxford Reading University. Down the rabbit hole. Alice was tired of doing nothing all day. Her thoughts flowed slowly. It was hot and she was sleepy. Suddenly, she noticed the white rabbit. He was in a hurry somewhere. She did not find it strange that he had a waistcoat pocket, a watch, and also that he could talk. Alice was very curious. She ran after the rabbit and jumped after him into the hole. It was a deep well inside. There were cupboards and bookshelves full of books. Alice was falling very slowly and could see everything well. At the bottom of the well, Alice noticed a glass table with three legs. There was a small golden key on it. Also, there was a tiny door. Behind the door was a wonderful garden. Alice was too big to get inside the garden. She found a little bottle, drank it, and became very small. But it happened too quickly, and Alice didn't have time to take the key from the table. Then she ate a magic pie and began to grow very fast. Chapter 2 The Pool of Tears Alice grew so big that she hit her head on the ceiling. She immediately got the key and ran to the door, but she could no longer go through it. Alice began to cry very hard. Soon, a large puddle appeared near her. At that moment, she noticed the white rabbit. She called out to him. He was very scared and dropped his gloves and fan. Alice picked them up. The fan was magic and helped her become small again. Alice fell into a puddle of her tears. She tried to get out of it, and then a lot of birds and animals fell into it too. Chapter 3 Running in circles and a long story. The wet birds and animals began to talk. They wanted to get dry as quickly as possible. The mouse began a long and boring story. Only Dodo gave the most useful advice. He told everyone to start running in a circle. After half an hour, everyone was dry. Chapter 4 Bill Flies Out the Chimney Alice noticed the rabbit again. He was searching for the fan and white gloves. The rabbit thought that Alice was his maid. He ordered her to go home immediately to get new gloves and a fan. Otherwise, the Duchess would order to execute him. Alice was scared. She ran to the rabbit's house. There she found a small bottle and drank from it. She grew to a gigantic size. She quickly filled the whole house with herself. I think you forgot to like this video. Do it now if you are enjoying the story. She was able to shrink only with the help of some pies. Alice ran away. Soon she saw a huge mushroom with a large blue caterpillar on it. It was smoking a hookah. Chapter 5 the blue caterpillar gives advice. Alice began to complain to the blue caterpillar about her changes in growth, but the caterpillar was not interested. The caterpillar only advised the girl to eat a piece of mushroom if she wants to grow or shrink. Alice took a piece of the mushroom and grew to the size she wanted. Then she went to the house that stood nearby. Chapter 6 Pig and Pepper Alice went inside and found the kitchen. It was impossible to breathe in it because of smoke and pepper. The cook was cooking soup. Near the cook sat the Duchess with a crying baby. There was also a huge cat in the kitchen. He was smiling. The Duchess explained to Alice that he was smiling because he was Cheshire. Suddenly, the Duchess gave the baby to Alice and went to change clothes for the Queen's croquet. The girl looked at the child and understood that it was actually a small pig. She was very surprised. Alice asked the Cheshire cat to show her the way. He answered that it doesn't matter where to go in this country. Then the cat disappeared.
and only his smile remained in the air. Alice went to the March Hare and ended up at a tea party. Chapter 7 A Mad Tea Party The table was large, but only the March Hare, the Dormouse, and the Mad Hatter sat at it. Alice learned that they were forced to drink tea endlessly. It was their punishment for killing time. They were drinking a cup of tea and starting the next one because they had no time even to wash the dishes. The Hare and the Hatter began to tease Alice in every possible way. It was very rude and Alice got up and walked away. Soon she came to a wonderful garden. There were bright flowers and cool fountains. Chapter 8 A Royal Croquet Alice noticed that gardeners were repainting white roses red. They did that because the queen had ordered it. Immediately, a wonderful procession with the king and queen of hearts appeared. Alice realized that it was only a deck of cards and stopped being afraid. The queen loved to execute her servants. She invited Alice to play croquet. The game was strange. Hedgehogs served as balls, flamingos served as hammers, and soldiers served as gates. There were no rules in this game. Chapter 9 The Tale of the Mock Turtle The Queen realized that Alice knew nothing about the Mock Turtle. They listened to his story. A long time ago, he was an ordinary turtle. He lived at the bottom of the sea and went to school. The turtle studied the four different branches of arithmetic, ambition, distraction, uglification, and derision, as well as other important subjects. Chapter 10 Marine Quadrille Mock Turtle continued his story. He said that it was very nice to dance the lobster quadrille. Alice decided that this was a very beautiful dance. Mock Turtle showed her how to dance the quadrille while singing a strange song. Chapter 11 Who Stole the Pretzels? The King and Queen of Hearts started a trial against the knave. He was accused of stealing pretzels. While the witnesses were testifying, Alice started to grow again. Soon the king called Alice to ask her some questions. Chapter 12 Alice Testifies Alice forgot that she had grown and was very large. She stood up and knocked over the jury stand. The queen wanted to cut off her head, but Alice was not afraid of the cards. They suddenly rose into the air and flew into Alice's face. She began to fight, but at that moment, she woke up. Do you want more English audiobooks with translations and transcriptions? Check out appiwa.com. You can read books and learn new words every day. And now, check out another English story.